thank you for joining me again. And if this is your first time, I would like to welcome you to Frequently Asked Questions Concerning Pest Control. I am your host, Eric, the Bug Guy Palmer, and I work with Southwest Exterminators where we personalize your pest control. Uh, today we're going to follow up on a series of videos we're doing to help educate the general populace about termites. And specifically today, we want to address drywood termite, frass. Frass is the proper name for termite defecant, or their poo. And what's common to find, or when I commonly get a call, is when people notice that they're having this little frass piles, and they call me saying, hey, I think I've got termites, can you come take a look? Now, frass looks like little tiny wooden footballs, or even kind of a little sandy material, very granular sand. Um, and what it is, is their poo, it is their frass, and they'll dig these little kick holes, uh, which they kick their poo out of. They kick the frass out of these little kick holes. Now, what's important to note and what a good inspector will look for and what you as a homeowner should know is you can tell a lot about what's going on with that infestation just by looking at the frass pile. Now, the first thing you can notice is whether it's looking like a pyramid or whether it's scattered out broadly. Now, why is that important or what, what does that tell you? Well, if you imagine having a cup of sand or cup, a handful of sand, and you have it in your fist, and you have your other hand, and you very closely start wringing it out, what's going to happen when the sand hits your palm? It's going to make a little pyramid because it's short. There's not a whole lot of area that it's traveling. Now, if I do the exact same thing, and I hold my hand way above my head, and I have this hand way below, I'm stretching as far as I can go, and I start releasing little trickles of that sand from my fist, what's going to happen by the time it reaches my other, my lower hand? That's right. You're going to have a much wider spread out area. So just by looking at the frass pile, you can start to get an idea of how close or far that kick hole is. A good inspector will make sure to uh, uh, look for that. Another thing you can tell is what type of wood that they're infesting at the time, depending on the color of the frass that you find. Now, what do I mean by that? If you look at a normal 2x4 that's used for uh, structural building, it has that nice wooden light brown color, uh, like a watered down coffee or a watered down toffee color. And so if you see frass that looks uniformly like that color, they're eating pretty dry wood or wood that hasn't had a lot of moisture damage or water damage to it. But if you see really dark brown or even blackish kind of frass, that usually means they're infesting and eating dark colored wood. Now, dark colored wood is usually associated with moisture leaks. The moisture leaks on that wood and it becomes that discolored dark brown and black color. And so if you see a lot of that frass and you're going into the wall to try to find termites and you see black wood where you've had moisture damage, uh, you can hone in on that inspection a whole lot quicker and hone in on where the termites are. Also, you can use that as an inspection tool for your own home. Unfortunately, it's not the best way you'd want to do it, but um, you can tell if there is moisture damage or some kind of discoloration out of sight, out of mind in that wood that's behind the sheetrock that you don't notice. Um, and then likewise, if you notice a little bit of brown and a little bit of black and a little bit of dark and a little bit of uh, uh, light, that means that there's probably they're at the tail end of where that moisture damage is. So if you open up that wall and you see good wood and discolored wood, more than likely if you're seeing both brown and black, that they're going to be right in that middle area because they're eating both really nice wood and wood that suffered from moisture damage. Now these are very important things to know, like I said, as a termite inspector, but it's also important for you, the consumer, the homeowner, the one who's cutting the check. It's important for you to have this information as well, to know that you're hiring the proper company who's going to do a proper job and protect your home. Now, this that's one of the reasons I started creating these videos. I want to help educate uh, Southern Utah and frankly the world so you are more educated consumers so you can make educated, uh, 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 educated decisions because frankly let's face it you will always make the decision that suits you best and the way to make best decisions is to be a well-informed well-educated consumer so that's the reason why we're doing these videos um, so once again my name is Eric the Bug Guy Palmer I'm with Southwest Exterminators where we personalize your pest control and you are watching 
frequently asked questions concerning pest control. If you could like, comment, and subscribe to this page and share it to all your friends, we can help educate everybody and make them extremely intelligent consumers of pest control needs. Uh, and if you have a specific question about pest control or about insects that you would like answered, if something's keeping you up at night, something's nagging at you, by all means, please send that question to me. I'd be happy to do a video specifically for you. Um, you can reach us at office at southwestexterminators.com. Once again, office at southwestexterminators.com. Again, this is Eric with Southwest Exterminators, where we personalize your pest control. Have a great day.